Hey everyone, I'm Jacob. I'm a machine learning engineer and developer evangelist at Voxel 51. For those of you who don't know, 51 is the leading open source toolkit for curation and visualization of computer vision data. And 51 plugins are an extensible framework that allow you to customize 51 for your particular workflows. We're currently in the middle of a 10 weeks of plugin series where every week we show you one or multiple plugins that we've built uh, that highlight just some of the things that are now possible with 51's plugin ecosystem. And this week, we're gonna be talking about the week four plugin, which is image deduplication. So currently we're looking at the CFAR 100 dataset, which we have uh, actually taken a thousand samples from with a 5% duplication rate. So we have added some, some duplication errors into the data set, and we want to find those errors. So here we can see um, these are kind of the same, so they're, not, they're definitely not exactly the same, um, but there are hidden within here uh, some exact duplicates. And finding those exact duplicates would be a pain. So here, these are exact duplicates, but it wouldn't always be so simple to find the exact duplicates. Luckily, this plugin helps with just that. So this plugin helps you to find exact and approximate duplicates without having to go through them by hand. So this is the plugin repo over here. Um, it is a plugin with eight operators. So there are really just four types of operators. There's a parallel uh, track for both the exact and approximate duplicate operators in this particular plugin, but you can download the plugin with 51 plugins download passing in the name of the GitHub repo. So github.com slash Jacob Marks, that's me, slash image duplication plugin. Uh, and then we have plugin, we have operators for finding duplicates. So you can find approximate duplicates and you can find exact duplicates. The next pair is displaying approximate duplicates and displaying exact duplicates. And you can remove all, or you can deduplicate, which means keeping just one representative from each group. So we're gonna show you what all this looks like, uh, but that's just the high level context for all this. So first let's open up our operators list and let's go type in dedupe to see all of these operators appear in our operators list. So if we wanted to find exact duplicates, we could do that and we can either delegate the execution of this to happen uh, at some later time, or we can do it in real time, which is actually what we're gonna do here. And this should be pretty quick because all this is doing is it is generating hashes of the data in the files and comparing those hashes with each other. So this is a pretty efficient operation. Uh, and now that we've done this, we see we have a file hash field in our data set over here. And we can visualize all of these exact duplicates. So if we wanted to press in dedupe again, we could go to display. So let's display our exact duplicates. And this has loaded up a view which groups by the file hash. So here, if I click on one of these images, we'll see there's actually two images that are in this group here, and we're just only seeing one of them at a time. And because they're exact, they're all gonna be the same, but they, they might have different ID, they're definitely going to have different IDs, they might have different file paths, they might have different metadata associated with them because duplicate images could come from many different cases, uh, many different uh, sources. So we can visualize them like this. And once we visualize them, uh, we can decide whether we want to either remove all of them or just remove representative or just keep a representative from each group. So let's Let's say we want to keep a representative. So deduplicate, let's see, uh, deduplicate exact duplicates. This is going to keep a representative from each group. And here we see that we have 957 samples left. So we have gotten rid of all of the uh, second duplicates. So in this case, we only had two with pairs of duplicates, but this works also if you had three or four arbitrary numbers and different groups can have different numbers of duplicates that, that doesn't have any bearing on this. So now that we've found our exact duplicates uh, and we still have these approximate duplicates that we want to get rid of, uh, we can find these approximate duplicates using embeddings. So 
To make our life simpler, I have generated embeddings ahead of time using a clip model and created a similarity index using a vector database for these. Um, so this is, um, if you go to compute similarity, this is how you would do it right here. You can do it via the app or you can do it via the Python SDK. But because we have that, we are going to skip that step and going to go straight to the finding of approximate duplicates. And we can choose what similarity run or index we want to use. We can specify whether we want to determine whether something is a duplicate based on a threshold. This is a uh, basically a score for how similar or different two things are, uh, or via a fraction. So what fraction of our data set do we want to label as duplicates? We're going to do distance threshold and we'll do something pretty low. Let's do like 0.15. And we're not going to delegate the execution. We're going to do this in real time. And this found a couple of duplicates. So if we wanted to find more duplicates, we could use a different similarity score. But let's actually look at these now. Let's look at what it found. Um, display approximate duplicates. So here, these look pretty damn similar. Look at the next group. Again, very similar. And this was a clip model. So this was a semantic-based model or conceptual model, not a pixel-based model. But these look very, very similar. So we could decide, hey, we, you know, we're, we're good with these. Maybe we want to delete some more later. Uh, but for now, let's say we want to um, remove all of these. So the dupe. And then we'll do or deduplicate approximate duplicates. And it got rid of four of those seven because there were three groups. So it kept one representative from each of those groups. Uh, so 953 samples. And just like that, we have deduplicated our data set. Uh, so if you liked this, then you probably will also find our image quality issues plugin useful. Uh, this was a pre 10 weeks of plugins plugin. Uh, it was what we call week zero, and it allows you to find things like weird aspect ratios, low quality images, because they, they don't have a lot of information in them. They're very low entropy, um, things that have a lot of noise, salt and pepper noise, things like that, um, as well as things that are uh, images that are very light or bright or dark, um, have high contrast or high saturation. So all of those issues can be identified uh, very easily via the UI uh, in the 51 app if you install that image quality issues plugin. Uh, and there's also a ton of other plugins that uh, I think that you'd really find useful uh, about basically making your data set as high quality as possible. Uh, thank you so much and until next time. <laughs>